Okay, today's workout is all about the six pack abs or the core, whatever you want to call it. Because it's going to be more than just an ab routine, but it's going to be a full core routine. So we're going to start very simple. Everybody's seen some of these first few moves, and then they're going to get a little bit more and more difficult. We're just going to try to warm up the ab section. I'm not going to show you the entire workout today because you can do this on your own, but we're just going to start out with 60 seconds of just basic plank. So this is what it looks like. I know it's kind of boring, right? So why would you want that on video? So I'm going to fade out and I'll show you move number two. Okay, so if I didn't mention how long to go, we want to go for 60 seconds on that first move just to get the gut warmed up. By the end of that, you'll have felt that pretty good. Take about a 30 second break. And then we're going to go into knee touches. So we're in the same exact position. I don't know what the real name of the move is. I make up my own names. So all you can do is start here. And you're just going to tap down. One, two, nice and controlled. Three, four, five. Keeping those abs contracted the whole time. Okay, move number three. We're just going to do a side plank raise. You're going to go for 30 seconds on each side. And this is what this looks like. And barely tap that head down. And as you can see, I'm trying to go even beyond. You're going to really feel that right in there. Another 10 seconds. Raise that up as high as you can get it. Burning. All right, and at 30 seconds, you're going to roll right on over and do the other side. Okay, for the next move, we are going to do cross mountain climbers. Mountain climbers are just, regular mountain climbers are just here, okay? Cross mountain climbers are where we're dropping into the other knee to elbow, okay? Now, a lot of times we do these fast. Today, we're going to do them slow and make sure we get the knee to the elbow every single time. You're gonna really feel it in your abs and in your obliques. So we're gonna do this, hopefully, for one minute. Here we go. I'm just gonna hold it for a second. All right, so after that move, you're feeling that pretty good. So we're gonna keep honing in on that little area on the two sides. This will be our third exercise in a row that's hitting that area. So what you're gonna do, of course this will hit all areas, but you're gonna go into uh, just elbow plank. Let me see if I can do this a little bit to the side. Elbow plank, and you're just gonna rotate and tap the toe that's from the opposite side, all right? So we're gonna go one minute. Let's see what this looks like. So we go one, one, and own those. Two, two. It's not about speed. Three, three. Okay, so we're gonna stay into low plank for this next move, but we're gonna move back to the the main part of the abs. We're gonna give the obliques a little break because we're gonna do some tougher moves here in a moment, but this one here, you can use a medicine ball, basketball, don't use a tennis ball, don't use a golf ball, that's going to be too small, but you need something there for your feet, we're going to go into low plank, and we're just going to do slow mountain climbers, or elbow to uh, knee to elbow, and uh, you'll see what I do here with the ball, just kind of moving it back and forth a little bit, so you're going to get both feet on there, get in plank, get steady, this might be enough for some of you. Just stay there, or you rotate the ball. One. Oh, I gotta start my timer. Oh, that stinks. Two. Three. Four. Okay, this next move is for your side obliques once again. 
So this is going to be a side plank. We're going to stay in the side plank, but we're going to raise our arm and our leg at the same time. I don't know if they're called leg lifts, side plank, leg lift, whatever you want to call these. But we're going to do 30 seconds on each side. Uh, let's just do 10 on each side. That'll, that'll do it. Okay, so it's just like here. And then once you raise your leg, try to keep it off the entire time. Okay, so the next move after that, we're going to go back to hitting the main core here, and we're going to do down and ups. So we're going to go from high plank to low plank, basically is all that means. So it looks like this. So you're in high plank, and then you're just going to go one, two, one, two, one, two, and then switch your arm, whatever arm you went down with the time before, up with the time before, switch that. Okay, now you can see why I call this the plank ton workout because it's a ton of planks. So what we're going to do this time is we're going to do like a renegade row on into a side arm balance. So it looks like this. So you're going to start here just in plank with your hands on two weights. You're just going to lift up to the side, hold, and down. And what we're going to do is we're just going to do ten aside. So that's one. But own your hold at the top. Two. Okay, we're getting near the end. This next move is called bird dog. So you're going to have one arm, one leg off the ground uh, in between your planks. Uh, we're going to go ahead, I think we'll just go for another minute. Sounds like a good idea. So it looks kind of like this. You're gonna, the wider your feet, the easier. So you're just gonna raise up like this and then put your hands back down. But we're gonna actually add a little crunch in the middle of that. I think that'll make it even more challenging. So we'll go up and then you're just gonna crunch it back out and hand down, okay? So here we go, one minute. I'm gonna start with the other side. own each one of those out in hold it out down out in out down out in okay so my workout just got a little bit longer today because i just did the last two moves and nothing recorded so i'm going to show them to you again anyway so what we're going to do is we're going to do moving uh, plank to start with just side to side, but what we're going to do is we're going to throw a push-up in between So it's just side to side push-ups. I guess you could call them moving push-ups. So we're going to go for one minute So this is what it looks like and then I'll show you the last move. So it looks like this So I always like to start with a move Do my push-up 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 Now if that's too much for you just do the moving side to side but you won't want to do that if you can do the push-ups because you get so much more benefit when you're doing the push-ups with it and not only that the last move you're just going to be moving side to side and things like that so if you were just moving it would be just like this Well, I don't have to go a whole nother minute. I already did those, what am I talking about? So that was 45 seconds, that's a bonus for me. This last move that I wanna show you though is a cool move. I'm gonna set the timer up over here. Oh, I don't even need a timer. Again, I don't have to go the full minute. I'm just gonna show you the move. So we're gonna move side, back, side, forward. Actually, I'm gonna start going forward. So it looks like this. So in your regular plank, and you're just taking little mini steps, you don't want to stick the butt in the air, little mini steps with the hands, and then put the hands together, one, 
two, and then we're gonna just move backwards for four. All right, and then hands. One, two, I got weights back here. One, two, three, four. All right, one, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. And my abs are already on fire. One, two, three, four. Doesn't look like a lot, but this is a tough move. You're doing, you're going in so many different directions, trying to keep your body straight, all right? My shoulders are getting tired too. But as I said, this is a core workout. It's not just about the six pack abs. It's not just about the side obliques, but your back's gonna be engaged, your shoulders are gonna be engaged. You're gonna get some leg engagement. You just gotta kinda of tighten up those quads from time to time to keep yourself in the proper position. So if you enjoyed this workout, I hate doing sit-ups. So I do anything I can not to do sit-ups. So I do a lot of plank moves like this. And then I do a lot of these uh, TRX bands. So if you don't have a set of these, you should get a set of these. If you buy the actual TRX brand, you'll spend about 179 bucks to get a set like this, maybe 150. But if you buy, you can get uh, something exactly like it. Very, very similar. I have some here as well that um, probably costs like 50 or 60 bucks, uh, whether they be at Walmart or whatnot. Make sure though that you get nice, thick, it's gotta be nice and thick. Don't get the real thin stuff. There's some stuff out there that's pretty cheap. But you wanna get yourself a nice set of TRX bands because every single day I use my TRX bands. So when I'm done with my workout, I go and I do, I have a, a little mini routine that I do every single day where it hits all, 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 all body parts. And uh, I'll upload my ab workout maybe next week with my TRX bands. And then uh, also maybe the little total body uh, quick hitting routine that I do every single day. I just like to get that nice little burn with the TRX band. So see you another day. I hope you enjoyed this workout. It's called Plank Ton because we did a ton of planks. All right, see you another day.